So if you don't want to work out at a gym, there's only four things that you need so you can start working out at home. The first thing you're going to need is a bench press. You want a bench press that lets you adjust the height of the rack. That way you can do things like squats and overhead press. You also want the bench press to have an adjustable seat so you can do incline, decline, flat bench. And also you want it to have an attachment where you can do leg extensions and leg curl. If you can find a bench press that has all those things, you can do a full workout with just that one piece of equipment. The second thing you're gonna need is obviously gonna be a barbell with some plates. If you don't have a barbell and plates, you can't do any of the exercises that I've just talked about besides you know, the leg extensions and leg curls on the attachment, but you can do bench press, you won't be able to do overhead press. So this goes hand in hand with the first piece of equipment. Not only that, you'll be able to do deadlifts and things like bent over barbell rows, which are two big exercises that you want to incorporate into your split. The third thing that you're going to need is going to be adjustable dumbbells. With one pair of adjustable dumbbells, you won't need a pair of 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. So if you need 30 pound dumbbells, do dumbbell curls. Put 30 pounds on each dumbbell and you do dumbbell curls. If you need 60 pounds on one dumbbell to do bent over dumbbell rows, you put 60 pounds on one dumbbell and you do your dumbbell rows. This is honestly one of the best pieces of equipment that you can have if you're working out at home. With one pair of adjustable dumbbells, you'll save money and you'll save space because you won't need to store so many different pairs. The last thing you're going to need is a pull-up bar. Now with a pull-up bar, obviously you can do pull-ups and chin-ups, which are the two most effective back exercises, but you can also do hanging leg raises and hanging leg curls, which are really effective for abs especially the lower abs and the B cut. So those are the only four things you need to start working out at home. If you're interested in buying pieces of equipment to start a home gym, I left the Amazon link in the description below for all of the pieces of equipment that were talked about in this video. I tried to find the best prices, but obviously you can do some searching around on Amazon for yourself, but the links are down in the description below, so check them out. Also on my channel, I have a few full workout videos only using the equipment that I talked about in this video, so check those out. I'm working on some more videos as well, so stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, and hit the little bell notification so you're notified of when I do upload a video. If this video helped you out, leave a like, and thanks for watching.